An investigation is underway tonight after a 22-year-old man is killed in an industrial accident. It happened at a Johnston business today, and tonight we're hearing from the mayor about today's tragic accident. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Woods is in Johnston with more details for us now. Just hours after a man died at this disposal and construction company, we're talking to the mayor about this long-standing community business. It's a, sad, it's a sad day, it really is. That's what the mayor of Johnston, Joseph Policina, is telling Eyewitness News after 22-year-old Darwin Perez was killed Tuesday morning while working at this disposal and construction company. They've been a, you know, a long-standing business in the town. They've been a great business. Police are currently investigating how the 22-year-old died, telling us an autopsy will take place on Wednesday. You know, it happens. It's, it's an unfortunate accident, and that's why they call them accidents. OSHA is also investigating at this time, trying to determine whether or not the company violated any federal regulations. But the mayor was adamant that the owner of J.R. Vinagro, Joseph Vinagro, would never put his employees in harm's way. He's a pretty squared away guy when it comes to safety. Safety is paramount. Safety comes first with him. As for the company, they released the following statement saying, Our entire company is devastated by today's event. During this time of great loss, our deepest condolences are with our team member, his family, and friends. The safety of our team members is always our number one priority, and we are cooperating fully with local and federal agencies with the investigation of this tragedy. Now we did check into the safety records of this company last year. They had a situation with an amputated finger. Then in 2014, they were fined for not having enough protective gear. But most recently, they have passed four safety tests without any violations. In the mobile newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.